I've been using Pygame for three years now. Let me show you this year's projects. By the end, you will grasp how they work. Let's begin. The first project of the year is a pressure soft body simulation. It was nice to think of a ball as a set of points joined between each other. It gets annoying when I'm explaining long, so here is some formulas for calculations. I'm using a spring force to keep ball sides apart and pressure to inflate the ball. Polygon collision was challenging to implement. I also added texturing using Pygame SDL 2 rendering capabilities. An article by Tim Fitzrandolph was incredibly helpful in making this possible. Anyways, next project. Soon after soft bodies, I tried doing marching squares, which is a technique used to create outlines of shapes from data, like grid of values. You can see that when I move my cursor to the circle on the top left, they sort of merge. My initial idea was to make a meta ball simulation out of this, but ended up here because there are some performance problems. We'll surely give it another try in 2024. LiquiPy is a tool for image mesh editing. It is a submission for the Tool Jam 3, which is a two week long contest to make a tool. I was inspired by old Android apps where you could retouch an image. I mapped the edited surface to the grid of points. This way, I could easily manipulate them, like rotating or moving, and get the effect of the retouching. Again, with the help of Pygame SDL 2 rendering, it was a fun project. Document Corrector is another tool that I made. Given any quadrangle, this tool transforms it into a rectangle. This way, you can correct the perspective distortion in an image. For this to be possible, I used the NumPy library. Nine days following my tool's release on itch.io, an article was published on ilovefreesoftware.com about it. They generated approximately 80% of downloads, but also provided a more effective guide on how to use it than I initially did. I'm grateful to ilovefreesoftware.com for posting the article. High Scene is both a 3D and 2D exploration game in space. It was made in one week for Pygame Community Summer Jam. Scriptline, Adam Audio and I were part of the team. The Jam theme was Waterworld, and you might ask where there's water in the space. Well, there's a theory suggesting the existence of High Scene planets. Those are planets made out of hydrogen and water. First, Scriptline spent time creating a full-on 3D engine. Three dimensions posed a challenge since we hadn't worked on many 3D projects previously, but still, I think it turned out cool. There's a 2D segment of the game when you land on the planets to gather resources. When you gather all the needed resources, you can repair your spaceship and win the game. Adam Audio created music and sound effects, enhancing game's overall atmosphere. A screensaver, a simple project that has a really important task. At one point within the Pygame community, a user named Gast challenged all Pygamers to create screensaver applications. I opted to join the challenge as well. A screensaver is a program that activates when the screen is idle for a long time. Its purpose is to prevent screen burn-in by displaying moving patterns instead of static content. Nowadays, on modern monitors. It just looks cool. The Hospitium. This is also an entry for a pie game jam. It was Halloween themed and started two days before it. This time around, I participated with Boopka. The theme was getting chased. Therefore, it would be logical to first implement pathfinding. I was inspired by the Baldi game. Collect items. The monster moves faster than you, but you can outsmart him by going through the ventilation. My teammate did the artwork for the game and made some impressively scary sounds. They sound great in the game. I wish I made a bigger map because you can complete this game in under four minutes. And the last project of the year, the 3D renderer. It is still a work in progress. The main struggle right now is triangle clipping. 
My main idea is to be able to make physical simulations, like the soft body simulation, but in three dimensions. It turned out to be more challenging than I had anticipated. Javid X9's exceptional explanations made it significantly easier for me to comprehend how 3D works. That's it. Here's some itch analytics. You can check out the source code on my GitHub page. Thanks a lot for sticking around and watching till the end. You might like this video. Bye.